Hey everyone, Tom here, and today we're going to go over quickly how to change out the injection hose on your D14 MZ3000. Now, this could be done regularly for maintenance, or if it's cracked, damaged, or potentially flared out where it's connecting. You also may need to change this more frequently due to usage or the chemistry that you're using. And as always, you want to make sure you have the proper PPE on for the chemistry that we're going to be interacting with today. So first, what we want to do is come over to the unit and disconnect our injection hose assembly from the unit. To do that, locate the injection hose assembly nut and loosen it pulling down on the hose and ferrule assembly. Now, if you're replacing the whole assembly, it'll come with new hose nuts and ferrules. If you're replacing just the hose, you'll want to remove the ferrule and the hose nut and save those for your new piece. You'll also want to disconnect your strainer and clean and save that for our new hose assembly. Now we're going to go ahead and reattach our fresh or new piece of hose. To do that, first slide a nut over one end of the hose. Then go ahead and slide the ferrule over large end first and push it so that the hose is about an eighth of an inch through, making sure that it's nice and squared off. Remember, you can cut this with a sharp blade if it's not. Attach one end to your strainer assembly and tighten the nut hand tight. Install the nut and the ferrule to the other end of the hose, pushing the hose through about an eighth of an inch and making sure that it's nice and squared off. Remember, you can cut this with a sharp blade if it's not. Then. You're going to take all these pieces and reattach them to the unit and tighten our hose nut down hand tight. At this point, you can go ahead and put your strainer into your concentrate tank. Of course, with any questions, feel free to give us a call or shoot us a message online. And thanks for watching.